Hello everyone, my name's Espy and I'm doing a presentation on how to use Facebook for grandparents. So let's get started. I have three pictures shown right now and I'm going to start with the first picture on the left. So when you first log on, you're going to see your homepage, which is where you see all your friends' posts. You will know you're on it by looking at the top left, where my arrow is pointing. It looks kind of like a square, and it'll be blue if you're on it. You will see a picture right under it that says, what's on your mind? That is where you can post anything. You can post how your day went, or you can just say simply hi to everyone. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Um, not everyone posts statuses, though. Sometimes people just share pictures and videos that they like and see on their homepage. So, you can also post your own pictures or videos you like by clicking photo, and that is right beside your status. Um, you can post whatever you want. Pictures of you, pictures of your dog, pictures of your cat. It doesn't really matter. And right beside that is check-in. You can use check-in for because it shows you your location, or it shows everyone your location. So if you want people to know where you are, you can just push check-in and it will pop up and it will show you where you are. And you can click it and tell people that or not. Um, so that's about it on that one. On the second picture, I will explain accepting and declining friend requests. When someone friend request you, you can see a number, and it depends on how many people have friend requested you. If only one person friend requests you, you'll only see one number on the two-headed people. Um, so you'll click that right where my arrow is pointing, and that'll show you all the friend requests you have. And you can either accept those friend requests or decline those friend requests, depending on if you know them or not. And right under that, is people you may know. So that's just a recommended area where they're like you may know this person and if not you don't you can just ignore it. It's nothing you really have to worry about. <clears throat> right and on the last picture there's a little globe looking thing where my arrow is pointed at and that will show you your notifications and your notifications will have X amount of numbers and so whatever number shows up on the little globe will tell you how many notifications you have. So your notifications will show you anything to do with someone who has liked your photo or anything you've posted, someone that tagged you in a post or anything like that, and someone who commented on a post that you shared or tagged or you were tagged in. Or they can just be simply replying to your comment or accepting your friend request. Okay, and that's it for that page. The next one. Here I will be explaining the options you have when you click on the three little horizontal lines where my arrow is pointing. Okay, so there will be a bunch of different categories and I'll just list off the categories one by one. So the first category is favorites and that will show events and nearby friends and saved things like if you like a video and you choose to save it that's where it would be. And also find friends if you want to find more people to friend request you can do it there too instead of search. Um, the next category is games and that includes games, reminders, and liked pages, and places nearby, and chats, and whatever other apps or games you have connected to your Facebook. The next category is feeds. That is anything to do with your page, like most recent posts that your friends have done, um, close friends, family, and schools you went to. You can decide to add all that to the page if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. Okay, the next slide is just a continued version of the other options because there's many different options you can use. So, the next category is groups. If you are involved in any groups or have made a group, that'll be shown here. The next category is pages. If you have a page that you would, that you made or that you're in, that will be shown here. The next category is 
interests. That would show pages and public features you are interested in or are in currently. And last but not least, help and settings. This is where you go to change things or just for help. There is all kinds of things like app settings, newsfeed, preferences, account settings, help center, your activity log, and etc. Just anything that you might need while using Facebook. And you can go through it too and just browse through it and see what it's all about. Okay. The next slide is what is its purpose? So I have four different pictures that I'm going to explain. The first one is your own page. You can change your own page to whatever you want, whatever you want people to see, really. You can change your profile picture, which people will see if they try to friend you or message you. Then you can change your header to whatever you want. But people will also see that when they visit your page. Um, then you can put a bio and see and see everything you've posted or shared. And the bio can really be anything. Like, for example, my bio just says hi. Um, the second picture shows search and search is a way to find people you know so you can friend request them or see so or so you can find pages you like the third picture so shows what the little head at the top right corner is that is where you can see which friends are on your facebook it will show you favorites meaning the people you talk to the most will be there and the rest will be under them there will be a green dot next to their name which they were if they're online and there will be a phone with a number next to it telling you if they've been on in like either X amount of minutes or X amount of hours ago. The phone also means that they have Facebook on their phone. So even if the green dot isn't showing, it doesn't mean that they're not online, that it will still be sent to their phone. The last photo just shows what your message layout will look like. And that's called Messenger. Mes Messenger will hold all your conversations until you delete them. So if you're looking for an old conversation, it'll be right there. Alright, and things to avoid. There's not many things that you have to avoid on Facebook, but there's a couple things that you might want to keep in mind. Accepting friend requests from people you don't know. That's kind of a big one. I mean, not all the time will people be weird or anything. It's just kind of something that you want to keep in mind just in case if you don't know them, it could be awkward or unsafe and clicking on ads that say you can get something for for free um those ads will say oh click here and you get a free iphone and stuff like that and those things aren't usually true they're just trying to get your information All right. and clicking on ads on the side of the page if you're on a computer is not a good idea either because it will open up a bunch of different tabs that you aren't meaning to want to open and so it can get you lost and confused. So avoid those ads on the side of the page, but that's only if you're on a computer. If you're on a phone, you won't see those ads. And um, there's not really much of tips and tricks, really. It's pretty kind of self-explanatory. There's nothing that you can really, cool things that you can do that not everyone can do. It's kind of just the same for everyone. And that's it. I hope this helps. And goodbye.